Hey, Composer Gloves here, and today we're going to talk about how to make a impact wind sound and an impact riser, or just a riser sound, a wind type sound though, with Harmer. So, I am not cheating in using the image section this time, even though I guess it wouldn't really be cheating, but I figured everyone can grab a piece of white noise, drop it in here, and then add reverb. So, I decided to go at it maybe a little bit different, a way that's a little more versatile than just noise, but hey, you know, this is what I got. So that's the impact. Here's the riser. So we got sort of a metal sound in our midst as well. So obviously there's like uh, just a junk ton of, you know what, instead, let's just make one. Instead of me explaining this, let's just make one. So, okay, I'm gonna open up a harmer. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna copy this one and paste it there and cut this one. Okay, so this is what we got. I'm gonna add another one, another note right there. Okay, so to get noise, at least this is one of the ways I used to sort of get something similar to noise, turn the unison all the way up, turn the pitch variation all the way up and go to Hertz. Pretty darn close to noise now. So you could try octave, but that won't sound very much like noise. It'll sound like weird pitch problems. It also changes your timbres to be weird stuff. So after that, I was like, okay, now I need a crap ton of reverb. So I turn my reverb up. I turn my filters all the way up. And I'm like, all right, now I'm going to compress it. Oh my, that sounds kind of cool. That's neat. So, okay, we're going to compress the high end. Cool. The high end still sounds a bit dull. So I'm going to add some more stuff there. I'm going to create a low. I'm going to take out some of the low end. All right, cool. So after that, I was like, oh man, dude, bro, dog. Let's, uh, let's, let's turn on the chorus. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. Then I was like, what about unison? Do that sort of like wah, 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 wah thing automatically. So I turned my depth on, but instead I was like, nah, let's automate it. So let me get rid of these. So those are gone. So I was like, oh yeah, let's automate it. So I automated it. Whoops. Automate it. And for this one, I have it turn up as we're in. No, I want this to turn start. This is going to be our impact. So we're going to start with our impact for some reason. And then on the riser, we're going to have it turn up. So it sounds like this. We're pretty cool. Now, of course, we need a filter of some kind. So I'm going to use, I'm going to turn my width up just a little bit. I'm going to start out and I'm going to filter this jazz as we go away and it will come back to life right about here. I'm also going to change the possible lengths of these. Now, of course, you could be a lot more delicate with the things you're doing. You'd match your track. You'd create an EQ profile that more was more appropriate than what I'm doing right here. So other things I messed with, I messed with the prism for a little bit. Kind of an interesting deal. The EQ obviously is a big deal. We go to harmonic unison map, pitch mapping and do something weird with the pitch. Get that metal type tone. And then on the rising, it'd be kind of cool. Of course, there's nothing really rising. It's rising to you right now because it's not in a track. But you might also consider um, high passing the lowest stuff.
if you want your sound to be a bit cleaner without all that low rumble for your kick and your bass and stuff. Sounds much cleaner. So just some interesting options. If you have any questions about this, let me know. Subscribe and have a blessed day.